You can save and use word lists created using the Word List Manager. First, you'll need to search for words using the Word List Manager. Click on Load or Generate Word List. You have the option to choose a version to display the words from, and then a source from where you wish to extract the words. If you choose Load Words from a Bible Version, this option works with the verse range. You can enter just a book name with just M-A-T. I would load all the words from the book of Matthew in the BNM. Or if you wish to develop a list of words that appear in several chapters, the book name, then the chapter number, a hyphen, and the last chapter, so you have a range of chapters. You can create a list for just a range of verses, or for the whole Greek New Testament. I'm using the BNM, so I'll be getting just the lemmas, that is, each of the Greek words in the Greek New Testament, in their lexical or dictionary form. And since the words in a morphology version include morphology codes, I'm going to go down here under Other Options and uncheck the option to keep morph codes. But notice that there's a number there. I could set that to maybe keep one code if I want to identify what is a noun, a verb, and so forth. So let's do that for this particular search. I'll change that to one and I'll check the checkbox. Then I'll click to create the list. I now have a list of all the words in the Greek New Testament with their frequency and also the morphology code that indicates what part of speech it is. If I want all the words without the codes, let's clear the list under Edit, Clear Entire let's List. Let's clear the list under Edit, Clear Entire List. Then I'll click Load or Generate Word List, and this time I'll uncheck to keep the morph codes, and click to create the list. Once your word list is completed, you can save the list as an IEL Inclusion Exclusion List file. Go to File, and then choose Save as IEL file for later use, or for GSE. It indicates for GSE because you can use the Word List Manager to create a custom word list of words you wish to search for in the graphical search engine or from the command line. I'll title my IEL file. I'll call it GNT, full word list then save that file. Now if I wish to bring that file up at a later time, I can click on the Load or Generate Word List, then choose the option Load Words from an Inclusion Exclusion file, click on the Browse button, then find the file that I'd previously saved, double click on it, now the path is entered into the field, then I'll click Create List, and I have the previous list of words that I created appearing in my secondary word list since I clicked within the secondary word list before I clicked Load or Generate Word List. Let's check some of the other options there to see what's available to us. Click on Load or Generate Word List. Notice under Source I have the option to load highlighted words from last query. If I check that radio button, that will load all the words that were found from the last search that I conducted. And previously I conducted a search for all of the verbs in the Greek New Testament. So using load highlighted words from last query is a good way to save the list of words from a search that you previously conducted. And since I searched using the BNM, a morphology version, I'm going to make sure that under Other Options, I've unchecked to keep the morph codes because I don't want to view any morphology codes in this case. Then I'll click the Create List, and now I could save a list of all the verbs in the Greek New Testament. The other option under Source is Load Words from Launida Domains. When I click this radio button and click Create List,
I then have this window to select words using semantic domains. As the Launida lexicon groups words that have similar meaning together within a domain, I can click on a domain, and the words within that domain now display in this list over here. Notice that the word list manager does not receive phrases that may be part of a domain. So let's say I wish to save a list of all the Greek words that deal with kinship terms. I can click on that domain to load the words, then click Select All, then click OK. All of those words now display in my Word List Manager. I can type in a description. And save this as an IEL list under File and Save. Then I'll have that word list available to me for later use. If you choose the option to keep Greek accents and Hebrew vowel points, you can create a custom lexicon for the words that you've included in your word list. So I've checked the keep Greek accents and Hebrew vowel points. I'm going to reload the words from the Launida domains for kinship terms. So I've checked load words from Launida domains, then create list. I click on Kinship Terms, select all for the words to export, then click OK. Now my Greek accents appear. I must select my list first, so I'll go to Select and Select All. Then I go to File and Make Lexicon from Selected Words to Editor. Choose a Greek lexicon from the choices there. and click OK. Now go to the editor and you have a custom lexicon for each of the words that were in your word list.